My beautiful soprano. At least now I know that angels are real. Oh, you're so sweet. But your claim's merely a fabrication of your desire. I'm all but an angel. To me you are. It's not just about your voice, but since you joined the choir, I finally found peace again. A warm embrace to soothe the tears and the echoes of heartache. Before it was all just black. The only thing that kept me going were my children. Have you told them yet? No, I'm waiting for the right moment. I wouldn't wait too long if I were you. People are getting suspicious, and they'd better not find out through gossip. I'll tell them soon enough. They've been carrying too much pain. And so have I. Bugger. Is everything all right, Your Grace? You seem troubled. Yes, I'm fine, thank you. If there's anything... No, please leave me. Take the rest of the day off if you want. Your Grace. Or rather, no. Stay. I may require you after all. I'm being summoned by the Margrave of Brandenburg, my Prussian overlord. We're going to Berlin. Berlin? I take it that it won't be a pleasurable trip, Your Grace? No, it won't. It's something that I've been trying to avoid, but even though the invitation's polite, it's crystal clear that the letter in which I expressed my eternal loyalty wasn't convincing enough. That I find hard to believe. Your loyalty is beyond question, if you allow me to say so, Your Grace. This isn't about loyalty as such, dear Sebastian. This is about the expansion of political interests. And war. War? Mark my words. One day soon, the French and Austrians will be at odds again, and our Prussian lords desire the spoils of the both of them. And they want me on their side of the battlefield, preferably on a very tight leash. Then how may I be of help, Your Grace? I want you to write six concertos for the Margrave, and hopefully that'll put him in a more enjoyable mood. Six concertos? And by when, Your Grace? Within four weeks' time. F four weeks? And they'd better be magnificent. Margrave, I'm delighted to see you. Allow me, your humble servant, to give your brother our king and yourself my very best regards and to offer you this token of my undying loyalty through the work of my Kapellmeister, 
who's written six splendid concertos in your Lord Margrave's honour. As I'm sure that... Prince Leopold, let me get straight to the point. You are well aware of our renewed military demands about which we've reminded you several times in the past five months. Of course I am, Lord Margaret, and I can assure you to that... To which we are still to receive a satisfying answer. Perhaps you assumed that, because curtain is so small, it would remain unnoticed and that the obligations of the vassal states towards the crown therefore do not apply to you. This is, however, a mistake and consider this as a final warning. We shall require of you 700 infantry, 80 cavalry and 13 pieces of artillery to be available within a month's notice when the need arises. 700 infantry? With all due respect, Lord Margrave, I'm not sure that I'm able to raise such a substantial army. At least not in such a short time frame. Are you being disobedient to your king's wishes, Prince Leopold? No, no, absolutely not, Lord Margrave, but I merely question if this lies within my possibilities. If you had introduced compulsory military service, as is a custom in the rest of Prussia, we wouldn't be having this regrettable conversation. Discipline, order and duty. You need to rethink your priorities or we shall personally bring your little realm to heel. Is it understood? Of course, Lord Margrave. Order, discipline and duty. I shall satisfy your request. Good. You are dismissed. Is there anything I can do for you, Your Grace? If you allow me to speak freely, the Margrave unjustly treated you as a disobedient subject. Your mind is a musical universe, Sebastian, but it has little knowledge of politics. It's all about appearances, nothing more. The Margrave did truly seem upset to me, Your Grace. Of course he did, and perhaps he was too, but that's part of his function. He must inspire obedience, and I must ensure the well-being of my people, and hence spare them the horrors of war if I can. It's a game, and in the end we will compromise. Besides, I still have an ace to play. I'm afraid I'm not following you, Your Grace. The Princess of anhalt bernburg An alliance with her will enforce a more generous position at the Prussian court, and will keep the dogs at bay for a while. Weren't you trying to avoid this marriage, Your Grace? You said that you weren't very fond of the princess. Needs must, I'm afraid. Talking about marriage, there are rumours propagating through my castle that you found renewed happiness in the eyes of our soprano. Uh, I cannot deny this, Your Grace. We've become quite close. She's a lovely gal. Quite young too. She'll make you an excellent wife. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm ready at your grace. Barbara... You mustn't linger in the past, Sebastian, but move on. Your children need a mother, and you need someone who can bring that smile back on your face. Actually, I've noticed that she's already succeeded at that. Yes, she has, your grace. I didn't believe that I could ever love again, but... She proved me wrong. Then it's all settled. We shall organize both marriages next December. First yours, as an appetizer, then mine. It'll be a whole month of festivities. It's been a while, hasn't it? I've never been any good at this. 
I mean, I know that I should look forward and I'm trying so hard. I wish I had told you what you meant to me, really meant to me. I took it all for granted. If there's any regret, any burden I must carry for the rest of my life, then it's this. I've come to know someone. She's a fine girl, and she's the first to have enticed a smile on my face in a very long while. You'd like her? Golden hair, joyful spirit, the voice of an angel. She'll take good care of our children. I know she will. Now, I must lay you to rest. Children, this is Anna Magdalena. We've decided to marry soon, and even though I understand that you're not ready yet to accept her as your new mother, I want you to show her respect and at least give her a chance. Nice to meet you. You must be Dotty. You're already a big girl, aren't you? Girl? I'm almost as old as you. Yes, but she's growing up fast. I'm hungry. Good idea, Bernard. <laughs> Let's go out for dinner so you can all get to know Magdalena a bit better. Shall we? I'd be delighted. How quickly love fades. <laughs>